Welcome to the Power Boss 38 Cylinder Gold Rider Sweeper Scrubber Use and Care video. Your Power Boss 38 inch cylindrical sweeper scrubber is equipped with an industrial lead acid battery pack. It is important to check the water level in your batteries after each and every charge cycle. The battery cells should be topped off with the distilled water to a level approximately 1 8 inch over the lead plates after charge. A battery filling gun allows this process to be completed quickly and can be purchased at a local auto parts store for a nominal fee. It's also important to check that all battery cable connections are free and tight and that there is no corrosion. The charger that comes with your PowerBus 38C is automatic which helps eliminate the possibility of operator error. A 38 inch cylindrical rider sweeper scrubber has four quick access electrical control panels as shown. The two panels located behind the operator seat platform contain the safety fuses. If a fuse needs to be replaced, reference your owner's manual for the proper fuse, the type, and how to replace it. Your recovery tank lid retains your vacuum seal. Always clean these seals and check for wear or damage. Also remove your stainless steel vacuum intake screen and clean it and replace once the cleaning has been completed. Behind the machine's two clamshell doors are the dual vacuum motor assemblies. Remove the cooling fan lids to make sure that they are clear of dirt and debris. Once completed, remove the two thumb screws to the right of the vacuum housing, which will allow the vacuum assembly to swing out. At this point, release the four clips that hold the vacuum manifold in place, as shown. Once released, check to see that the vacuum manifolds are free from dirt and debris. If dirt and debris is present, this could be a sign that the automatic float shutoff is not functioning properly. Next, check your squeegee for wear or damage. The rear squeegee rubber can be used up to four times by flipping the squeegee over and reinstalling. No tools are required to do so. It is important that your squeegee is set and functioning properly. There are two adjustment screws that will allow you to adjust your squeegee as shown. Please reference your use and care manual for detailed information on these adjustments. Also make sure that the squeegee linkage assembly is in good working order and properly lubricated at all the proper privet points. Check your two side skirts that the linkage is operating properly, as shown. Lubricate these pivot points as needed. Should your side skirts need to be replaced, simply remove the thumb screw lock, which will allow for easy removable of the side squeegees. Replace in the opposite order as they were removed. Check your two cylindrical scrub brushes to ensure that they are free of debris and in good working order. The brushes should be replaced when there is less than one half inch of the bristle remaining. It is important to note that brushes should be replaced in pairs. Periodically reverse your scrub brushes from front to back and from back to front to allow for proper wear. Check your debris hopper daily, remove any debris that may have been swept up during your operation of the machine. Periodically flush your debris hopper to make sure that all drain channels are clear and open for proper draining. There are a wide variety of brushes that are available for you and your PowerBoss 38 inch cylindrical sweeper scrubber. Contact your installing dealer for the proper brush that will work for you. A solution shutoff valve and a solution screen are located on the operator's right side of the containment skirt. The screen should be cleaned at least weekly. Your side brooms are adjustable for down pressure and sweeping width. The two adjustments for these are shown accordingly. Check your rear tires and your front drive wheel for wear or damage. Check to see that all the electric connectors are tight and free of any type of corrosion. If you find any, check with your local service provider to have it rectified. 
Make sure that your side rollers and your low clearance bars are in good shape. Damage to these areas is a sign of possible operator abuse. Check all the functions of your operator control panels. Cycle the machine to make sure that the functions are working properly. Fault codes will indicate if there is a fault with the machine. If the fault codes appear on your hour meter, reference your use of care manual, and there you will be able to rectify the situation. Check that the machine moves properly in forward, locks in neutral, and operates in reverse. If not, call your service provider. When servicing your PowerBoss 38-inch cylindrical sweeper scrubber at the end of your cleaning cycle, it is important to set your parking brake accordingly and to turn the power off to the machine as shown. At the end of your cleaning cycle, open your clamshell doors at the rear of the machine and check all your hoses and vac motors for any wear or possible damage. Once completed, drain your recovery tank using the variable flow Venturi valve. Flush your recovery tank with fresh water till the drain water runs clear. It is also important that you empty your machine in an approved drain location. If required, drain your clean water tank as shown. Once this is completed, remove your vacuum recovery hose and check for any clogs or debris that may be in the hose. Debris can be easily cleared by flushing fresh water through the hose assembly, as shown. It is also important to flush the squeegee recovery port and the squeegee channel assembly to make sure that they are clean and clear of any type of dirt and debris. The PowerBoss 38C sweeper scrubber is designed with an oversized clean-out port. This will allow the operator to clean the recovery tank of sediment that builds up that takes place over time. To remove this sediment, service as shown. Back flushing the drain hose will remove any large debris clogs that may obstruct the machine from fully draining properly. Back flush as shown. Your PowerBoss 38 sweeper scrubber has a use and care manual mounted on the operator's right battery door. All information that relates to the preventative maintenance and proper operation of the machine is located here. Please reference this manual for proper use and care. Once your machine has been properly serviced, press down on your parking brake and press the parking brake release button and you are on your way to the charging bay. As stated earlier in this video, your PowerBoss 38-inch cylindrical sweeper scrubber comes complete with an automatic charger. When your battery level indicator is down to one light, plug your automatic charger in as shown, and it will automatically indicate and charge your batteries perfectly and automatically shut off, and you will be ready for your next day's cleaning. For more information about the servicing of this PowerBoss product or any PowerBoss product, contact us at www.powerboss.com or call us toll free at 1-800-982-7141. On behalf of PowerBoss, we thank you all for watching this video.